In the boundless expanse of space, the universe never ceases to astonish us with its myriad mysteries and enigmas. Among its most recent revelations, the James Webb Space Telescope stands as a luminary, shedding light on previously obscured corners of our cosmic history. The James Webb Telescope, an unparalleled marvel of modern astronomy, has allowed us to peer into the depths of time, revealing facets of the early universe that were once beyond our grasp. One of its most groundbreaking discoveries concerns the birth and evolution of galaxies. Previously, our knowledge was based on observations from telescopes that had their limitations. They presented a universe where galaxies seemed to follow a somewhat predictable pattern of development. The James Webb Telescope, however, has brought forth evidence that topples these earlier notions. Ancient galaxies, as observed by the James Webb Telescope, don't necessarily conform to the structures and shapes we're accustomed to seeing. In the universe's infancy, a time when galaxies were just beginning to take form, they exhibited traits that can be described as chaotic and dynamic. Rather than the more familiar spirals or ellipticals, these primordial galaxies display elongated tendrils, vast regions of intense star formation, and peculiar clumps of matter. These are not mere anomalies, they represent a phase in galactic evolution that we're only now beginning to understand. Such unexpected structures hint at tumultuous processes during the universe's early epochs. The elongated features could be indicative of galaxies stretching under the influence of dark matter or possibly due to interactions with neighboring galaxies. The clumps, on the other hand, might be nascent stellar nurseries, regions dense with gas and dust where stars are birthed at an unprecedented rate. But why does this matter? These revelations reshape our understanding of galaxy formation. Instead of a linear, predictable path, galaxies might undergo various transformative phases, influenced by myriad cosmic factors, before they settle into the structures we recognize today. As we delve deeper into the universe's past with the Webb Telescope, our understanding of galactic evolution will undoubtedly become richer. Every discovery, every ancient galaxy observed, adds another piece to the puzzle of our cosmic origins. The universe's vastness is rivaled only by its complexity. Its secrets, waiting in the dark corners and distant epochs, demand tools and missions of exceptional caliber. Enter Jades, the Webb Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, a mission whose very name signals the audacious depths of its exploration. JADES was not just any other mission. It was designed to be a focused dive into two specific patches of the sky, the Good South and Good North Fields. These regions, although appearing inconspicuous, hold the potential to illuminate the universe's early chapters. The strategy behind JADES was twofold. Infrared imaging to capture visuals of the universe's distant realms and meticulous spectroscopy to dissect the very light these ancient celestial bodies emit, breaking it into its constituent colors and thereby unraveling their histories. The returns from this ambitious venture were nothing short of spectacular. Among its trove of discoveries, Jade's identified galaxies that had formed when the universe was in its infancy, less than 600 million years old. To put this into perspective, consider that our universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. Thus, Jade's managed to glimpse moments from a time when the cosmos was just taking its baby steps. But how does Jade's achieve such astonishing feats? Here's where the wonders of infrared observation come into play. As the universe expands, the light from distant galaxies gets stretched out. This phenomenon, known as redshifting, causes the galaxy's emitted light to move towards the red end of the spectrum. This is where the infrared spectrum, the domain of Jade's, becomes invaluable. It can detect the red-shifted light from these primordial galaxies, light that would otherwise remain invisible to conventional telescopes. Did you know that the very reason we can observe these ancient galaxies is due to this cosmic dance of expansion and redshifting? Without the universe's relentless expansion, these galaxies would forever remain cloaked in the obscurities of time. The infrared spectrum, thus, isn't just a tool. It's a window allowing us to peer into epochs otherwise lost to us. The success of Jade's stands as a testament to human curiosity and technological prowess. 
Through its lens, we have been afforded a glimpse into moments of cosmic history that were once thought to be beyond reach, allowing us to piece together the ever-evolving story of our universe. The realm of ancient galaxies is like a cosmic time capsule, preserving the earliest chapters of the universe's grand saga. These galaxies, residing at the fringes of observable space, carry imprints of a time when the universe was in its nascent stages. Jade's, with its advanced suite of tools, has been able to detect galaxies that possess redshifts ranging from 7 to 12. For those unacquainted with the term redshift, it is a measure of how much an object's light has been stretched due to the expanding universe. In the context of these ancient galaxies, the redshift values indicate that their emitted light has been on an interstellar journey for over 13 billion years. That's almost the entirety of the universe's age, making these galaxies some of the earliest entities to form post the Big Bang. Contrary to what we observe in the modern-day celestial tapestry, these primordial galaxies have distinct characteristics. They don't boast the grandeur of contemporary galaxies. Instead, they are smaller and fainter. But what they lack in size and brightness, they make up for in activity. These galaxies are teeming with activity, with new stars being birthed at an astonishing rate. The sites of active star formation zones and telltale signs of early galaxy dynamics provide astronomers with invaluable data on how galaxies evolved over cosmic time. One of the most transformative periods in cosmic history is the era of Ryanization. Before this epoch, the universe was a vast, murky expanse filled with neutral hydrogen atoms that absorbed photons, making space opaque. Then a significant turn of events began to unfold, the birth of the first stars and galaxies. These celestial newborns emitted high-energy photons, which gradually ionized the neutral hydrogen, causing the universe to transition from opacity to transparency. The process of reionization was like lifting a cosmic veil. Before it, the universe was like an unsolvable enigma, with its wonders concealed. post reionization it slowly began revealing its secrets, akin to a theater raising its curtains to begin a grand performance. It's a beautiful thought. The universe, once enshrouded in the cloak of the unknown, slowly unveiling its myriad wonders, one star, one galaxy at a time. Exploring the universe is a multidimensional task, much like assembling a cosmic jigsaw puzzle with pieces scattered across vast distances and time scales. Each instrument aboard the James Webb Telescope has a pivotal role, and MIRI, or the Mid-Infrared Instrument, stands out as an essential companion to Jade's in this celestial quest. Mid-infrared observations, as facilitated by MIRI, provide a window into some of the more elusive aspects of galaxies. While JADES primarily delves into deep extragalactic territories, uncovering galaxies from the universe's infancy, MIRI enhances this exploration by delving into the intricate details that are often overlooked in broader surveys. One of the most invaluable offerings of MIRI is its data on the dust content within galaxies. Cosmic dust, though seemingly inconsequential, plays a monumental role in the universe's scheme of things. It is the scaffolding upon which stars are birthed. By understanding the distribution, composition, and dynamics of this dust, astronomers can trace the life cycle of stars, from their nascent stages as mere dust clumps to their full-blown stellar forms. Additionally, MIRI provides insights into the gaseous states of galaxies, Gas, particularly hydrogen, acts as the fuel for star formation. Observing these gaseous components allows scientists to gauge the star-forming potential of a galaxy, deciphering whether it's in an active, dormant, or declining phase. But perhaps the most enthralling aspect of MIRI's capabilities lies in its observation of stellar populations within these ancient galaxies. Stellar populations are like historical archives, preserving tales of a galaxy's past. Older stars with their dwindling luminosities and redder hues narrate tales of a galaxy's early days, while younger, bluer stars speak of recent star-forming events. By cataloging these populations, MIRI aids in painting a comprehensive picture of a galaxy's history, its periods of boom and bust in star formation, and its potential future.
In essence, while Jade sets the stage by identifying these astronomical entities from the universe's dawn, Miri embellishes the narrative by offering a deep dive into the very heart of these galaxies, ensuring that no stone, or in this case, no star, is left unturned. The universe, with its vast expanse and uncharted territories, holds many secrets that often challenge our understanding of cosmic phenomena. One such groundbreaking revelation comes in the form of a proto-cluster, observed by the James Webb Telescope, which transports us back to an era when the universe was still in its nascent stages, a mere 650 million years into its existence. This proto-cluster isn't just any cluster of galaxies. It comprises seven distinct galaxies, gravitationally bound and in close proximity to each other. But the discovery's true significance goes beyond the mere count of galaxies. By keenly observing the velocities at which these galaxies move, the James Webb Telescope unveiled a tantalizing hint pointing towards the mysterious dark matter. Dark matter, as the name suggests, is an enigma. It doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it virtually invisible. Yet its gravitational effects are profound, and it constitutes a significant portion of the universe's total mass. The observation of these seven galaxies, moving at staggering speeds of more than two million miles per hour within a specific gravitational pull, serves as indirect evidence of a halo of this elusive matter, enveloping and binding them together. But the intrigue doesn't end there. Using a blend of observational data and sophisticated cosmic simulations, astronomers predict the evolutionary trajectory of this protocluster. Fast forward billions of years, and this young assembly is believed to metamorphose into an astronomical giant, bearing striking resemblance to the modern-day Coma Cluster. The Coma Cluster, located over 300 million light-years from Earth, is an enormous collection of over a thousand galaxies, tightly knit by gravity. It's a majestic display of cosmic evolution, where initial seeds of galactic congregations in the early universe blossom into colossal structures we witness today. In the end, the observation of this proto-cluster isn't just about understanding the early universe, it's a testament to the dynamic nature of the cosmos, where galaxies, bound by unseen forces, come together to form grander structures. It reminds us that, in the vast theater of the universe, every entity, from the tiniest dust mote to the largest galaxy, plays a part in an ever-evolving cosmic dance. And with instruments like Webb, we're privileged to have front row seats to this mesmerizing performance. The universe is akin to a colossal cosmic tapestry, with each galaxy being a unique stitch adding to its intricate design. One of the remarkable abilities of the Webb telescope is to function like a time machine, granting us glimpses of these galaxies at varying stages of their existence. This capability doesn't just let us see galaxies as they were billions of years ago, but offers an unparalleled time-lapse of their evolution, a journey through their cosmic lives. Take, for instance, some of the earliest galaxies that Webb has unveiled, those that existed when the universe was a youthful 600 million years old. These galaxies are reminiscent of tempestuous adolescence, bearing signs of rapid growth and undergoing intense transformations. They're chaotic, diverse, and marked by active star formation, supernova explosions, and even galactic mergers. Their tumultuous nature provides insights into a universe in flux, where gravity, gas inflows, feedback, and myriad interactions dictated the course of galactic births and growths. As time progresses, so does the maturation process of these galaxies. Webb's observations reveal that as galaxies age, they undergo significant changes, akin to a caterpillar metamorphosing into a butterfly. A galaxy that's about a billion years old will possess more defined structures, and its once vivid chaotic colors start to settle into patterns. Their compositions evolve, their shapes become more regular, and some even become part of proto-clusters, hinting at their eventual roles in larger cosmic structures. But the transformation doesn't stagnate there. Further down the timeline, when the universe was around two billion years old, Webb has captured images of galaxies that are close relatives to those in our current cosmic neighborhood. Yet these galaxies, while resembling modern ones, bear unique characteristics. They are denser and showcase a profusion of both dust and gas, 
indicating that the mechanisms of star formation were still fervently active. This evolutionary tale of galaxies, captured through James Webb Telescope's lens, paints a vibrant portrait of the universe's history. It's a tale of change, of galaxies shifting from their fiery, tumultuous youths to their more organized, mature selves, all while contributing to the grander cosmic narrative. Each observation, each galaxy, and each redshift offers a chapter in this expansive cosmic storybook, chronicling the dynamic ballet of galactic evolution. Through such discoveries, we come to appreciate the universe not as a static canvas, but as a dynamic masterpiece, continually changing, growing, and evolving. Pandora's Cluster, a distant cosmic ensemble named Abel 2744, is no ordinary cluster of galaxies. Often likened to a colossal cosmic collision site, it presents one of the most intricate and chaotic spectacles in the universe. As galaxies within it intermingle, they orchestrate an astronomical dance, unveiling phenomena of epic proportions. Located a staggering 3.5 billion light-years away from Earth, the intricate tales of this cluster are only now beginning to unravel, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. While the Hubble and Chandra telescopes had previously set their sights on this cluster, the James Webb Telescope brought to the forefront insights of unmatched clarity and depth. One of its most remarkable observations of Pandora's cluster is the identification of hundreds of lensed galaxies. These are galaxies that lie far beyond Abel 2744. Their light, while journeying across the cosmos, gets bent, magnified, and distorted due to the colossal gravitational influence of the cluster. This phenomenon allows the James Webb Telescope to glimpse galaxies that otherwise might remain hidden from view, shining a light on cosmic entities from eons past. Beyond the lensed galaxies, Webb's advanced capabilities have also cast a discerning eye on the distribution of gas and dust within Pandora's cluster. Galactic collisions and interactions within the cluster produce shock waves and extreme temperatures, churning the cosmic material into a tumultuous frenzy. The hot plasma within emits X-rays, but Webb's unique infrared sensors provide intricate details of this plasma, revealing information about its temperature, density, and metallicity. The telescope also offers a peek into regions of cold dust, spaces linked with star formation, and the evolutionary tales of galaxies. Yet, perhaps the most fascinating trivia about Pandora's cluster is its role as a cosmic magnifying glass. The immense gravitational power of this cluster enhances our view of the universe, amplifying distant galaxies and making them accessible to our instruments. It's akin to having a natural telescope within the universe itself, working in tandem with James Webb Telescope to broaden our horizons and deepen our understanding. As we continue our cosmic journey, the revelations from Pandora's cluster serve as a testament to the universe's complexity and grandeur. With each observation, we unearth another layer, another tale, and another perspective, constantly reminding us of the vastness and wonders that the universe holds. The James Webb Space Telescope has, time and again, proven its mettle as an instrument of unparalleled power and precision. As its gaze pierces the vast cosmic veil, it unlocks facets of the universe that, until now, were mere conjectures in the annals of astronomical lore. One of the most transformative tools in Webb's arsenal are its advanced instruments, NIRCAM and NIRSPEC. These are not just regular observational devices, they are the eyes and ears of the telescope, capturing images and spectra that offer a more intimate look into the universe's sprawling expanse. NIRCAM, optimized for capturing infrared images, has provided views of celestial phenomena in exceptional detail. Meanwhile, NIRSPEC, adept at infrared spectroscopy, aids in analyzing the compositions, velocities, and temperatures of astral bodies, granting astrophysicists a treasure trove of data. A vivid testament to James Webb Telescope capabilities is its meticulous study of Pandora's cluster. This vast conglomeration of galaxies has long been a subject of intrigue, and thanks to James Webb Telescope, we've been privy to its more nuanced tales. The galaxies housed within this cluster present a cosmic spectrum. At one end are the massive ellipticals, ancient behemoths that have witnessed eons of cosmic history. Their sheer size and luminosity make them stand out, 
offering a glimpse into the processes that might have dominated the universe's early days. Contrasting these are the irregular galaxies, smaller entities often chaotic in appearance. Their lack of a definitive structure and their relatively smaller sizes might make them seem insignificant, but they harbor secrets of their own. They are veritable cosmic cauldrons, teeming with activity. From bursts of star formations to supernova explosions, these galaxies offer a unique window into the universe's dynamic processes. Further enhancing the allure of these discoveries is the observation of a myriad of activities within these galaxies. The Webb Telescope has detailed their multifaceted behaviors, from the tranquility of star formations to the ferocity of black hole accretions and galaxy mergers. Each observation peels back a layer of the universe's complexity, shedding light on the mechanisms that drive its evolution. In essence, the James Webb Telescope, with its state-of-the-art instruments, has catalyzed a paradigm shift in our cosmic understanding. From unmasking the intricate tales of distant galaxies to showcasing the dynamic processes at play within them, its observations have reaffirmed the universe's status as a realm of endless wonder and discovery. Exploring the cosmos taps into our innate human curiosity, urging us to find our place in the universe's vastness. Every revelation is more than just a scientific milestone. It's a chance for deep reflection and dreaming. The James Webb Space Telescope has been pivotal in this journey. Beyond data, it fuels inspiration. Each image and spectrum it captures reminds us of our significant yet tiny role in the universe's intricate web. Our quest into space is about more than knowledge. It's about the wonder and potential that space presents. With the web guiding us, each discovery is a testament to human innovation. The universe, filled with stars and galaxies, is a canvas for our stories and dreams. Ultimately, the magic of space exploration isn't just about the answers we get, but the questions we pose. With the web lighting our path, the horizon promises even grander discoveries, encouraging us to dream big and keep our eyes on the cosmos. If you're as fascinated by the universe as we are, hit that like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the next big space discovery will be? Don't forget to click on the video on your screen for another thrilling space adventure.